This is Cal. Top one homework. Problems number 15 and 16. Number 15. You have a large department store. It's prepared to buy 4,000 of your neon colored shower curtains per month for 6 bucks. But only 3,500 shower curtains uh, per month for $11 each. What's the linear demand function for your neon colored shower curtains? So we're looking for a um, linear demand function. Well, we'll use D. And let's see here. Find the page here. Okay, in fact, we'll use Q here for demand, Q. So Q is going to be the output. And it's linear, so it's going to use the, um, we typically use the MX plus B. Now, since the input is going to be priced with a demand function, we're going to change this to Q of P equals MP plus B even though we'll work with X and at the end we'll put in our P. Alright, so we need input and output. So the input for this will be price. So $6. And for $6, uh, the quantity or the demand is going to be 4000 And if the price is $11, the demand is only going to be 3500 Okay, as the price goes up. All right, so let's find the slope of this, which will be 4,000 minus 3,500 over 6 minus 11. Okay, so what we'll have on top is that we'll have 500, 500. Sorry. Right. And on the bottom, we're going to have, sorry, that keep writing at zero there, so 500. And on the bottom we have a negative 5, so this will be negative 100 for our slope. Okay, we're going to put this into the point slope formula. So the opposite of y will be negative 4,000, slope will be negative 100, and the opposite of x will be negative 6. So this will be y minus 4 thousand negative 100 X and plus 600 here Add 4,000 to both sides and we will end up getting Y equals negative 100 X plus 4600 here now we're going to change this to Q of P equals negative 100 price plus 4600 and this is what you want as your demand function. You want to make sure that the P is in there and not the X. Now, step number 16. You can sell 70 uh, pet chias per week if they're marked for a dollar, but only 20 per week if they're marked for two dollars. Your supplier is prepared to sell you about 40 chias per week if they're marked for a dollar, but only 90 per week. Uh, sorry, but 90 per week if you sell them for two bucks. And we're trying to find the um, associated linear demand and supply function. So the um, linear demand and supply functions, let's see here. Let's use Q for both because that's quantity. So for my demand, I'm going to use Q of the price equals a linear, which is MP plus B and for the supply we're going to use Q of P again in the same linear function. So for the demand we need input and output and the input is going to be price. So for a dollar um, people, people take 70 but if we charge two dollars people only take 20. So the slope for that situation will be 70 minus 20 over 1 minus 2, which is going to be 50 over negative 1, which is negative 50. Okay. So y minus y1, our point slope formula, x minus x1. So um, y is going to be negative 70, slope is going to be negative 50, and opposite of x is going to be negative 1. So we'll have negative 70 minus 50x plus 50. And we'll add 70 to both sides. 
and we end up with y equals negative 50x plus 120. Okay, for the demand, for supply, um, or in fact that really should be um, Q of P equals negative 50P plus 120, okay, for the demand function. All right, furthermore, supply function, um, input and output. Okay, the input price, the output is going to be the, um, the quantity or the um, um, supply of the items. So, for one dollar, if you input one dollar, um, you'll only get forty supplied. But if you charge two dollars, you can get ninety supplied to you. Okay. So, m is going to equal forty minus ninety over one minus two. This will be a negative fifty over negative one, which is fifty. There we go. Move that over. That'll be fifty. All right. So we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, the point slope formula. And the opposite of y is going to be negative forty. This is going to be fifty for m and negative one for x. When I distribute my fifty, we'll get fifty x minus fifty. Add 40 to both sides, and we end up with y equals 50x minus 10, which means that this will be q of p equals 50p minus 10, and this is going to be our supply function. Now, what price of the chia's part B uh, should be marked so that it's neither supply a surplus or um, nor a um, shortage of shears. Well, that's going to be the equilibrium price. Equilibrium price is when you take the um, demand function equal to the supply function and you solve for price. So, let's take both functions, which is negative 50p plus 120 equal to the um, supply function, which is going to be 50p minus 10. And I'm going to add 50p to both sides and add 10 to both sides. I'll get 30 here and I'll get 100p there. Divide both sides by 100 and what we'll get is a $1.30 for the equilibrium price.